Hey dudes, and welcome back to War Thunder! What do you guys think of that intro right there? That montage, pretty sick, eh? No, but seriously, these montages take so freaking long to make, and it's not because of the filming themselves, or itself, but because I have to find music that suits the montage. So I'm gonna ask you guys, if you're a big fan of Chill Step, or you have any recommendations of what would be the next good song to be in a montage intro, then please leave me the title of that song or link me the actual link to it in the comment box below and maybe your request will show up in the next montage in the next video. But anyway dudes, I am here in this new sort of series I want to make called the worst planes or worst tanks in War Thunder and I'm star starting it by kicking off with the BF-109 B1 Late, a brand new plane in 1.70 and uh, there's been <laughs> Well, what I've noticed, a lot of complaints about it, a lot of people saying that's really bad, and so I had to go unlock it and level it up today, just to see what it was all about to make today's video, and I think on the most part I pretty much agree. There are some pros to it, some like nice sort of features, but on the most part it's kind of sh well, I'm not going to say the S word, because my Spanish is not fluent enough, but no, anyway. It's shit! Okay, there you go, I said it. Um, and the reason why is not because it's like engine power necessarily or that's bad at turning or whatever it's mostly because of its firepower and in arcade firepower is king it's definitely important it has two 7.92 millimeters and yes i just killed that plane like very fast but whatever it has two 7.92 millimeters that uh, as you can imagine don't tend to do a lot of damage What's really strange as well is that I noticed using the default belts, just the standard ones, are actually stronger than the stealth rounds. And what I'm using now is actually the omnipurpose belts, and I found that these do actually the most damage out of all the belts. And oddly enough, actually using the omnipurpose belts gets me kills not too badly, actually. Not too badly. Every other belt is a problem, though. Every other belt, including stealth, is weird. And I think the reason why is maybe because the omnipurpose has more incendiary rounds, like a frequency of them, I don't know. That's the only thing that I can really make a conclusion of when I look at them compared to stealth rounds. But otherwise, this plane, battle rating of 1.3 at tier 2, that's kind of like an oxymoron right there. Battle rating of 1.3 at tier 2. It's like, what, are you afraid of seeing tier 3s? There's like nothing tier 3 that's at battle rating of 2.3 that you would ever see. You know, it's never going to be within that limit of plus or minus 1.0 battle rating. So I, I don't really understand why it's at tier 2. It just doesn't quite make sense to me. But uh, whatever, it is what it is. It's at tier 2, so that means you will probably... You could potentially see up to tier 3s, but there aren't any tier 3s that are going to be that high in battle rating. So all you're going to see is tier 2s and tier 1s, which is nice, I guess, because killing biplanes is definitely going to be something that I recommend to do in this plane, because they're going to be a lot easier to kill than the bigger planes and the monoplanes that are out there on the battlefield. Otherwise, it has an engine power of about 488 kilometers per hour, which is not bad for 1.3. But considering that you can come against 2.3s, then it's kind of lackluster. Well, take a look at this. I bet you this plane... Oh, it can catch up with me! Or he can keep up speed with me, at least. Hold up. Let's turn on my combat flaps here. Oh my god. Get off! Why do you want me so bad? What is so interesting about me? Is it my title? Is it because of my name? Fuck me! This Kai-27! Otsu! <laughs> Can't even get behind the I-15. I might actually die to an I-15. This is sad. Let's just hope nobody else comes on my tail here. Okay, this is a good example of my engine power compared to other biplanes out there right now. Hold up. Let's turn on my raised flaps even. Go away! Christ almighty! What else can I do? Is this Kai-27 actually going to come in to help? Or what is going on? Look, dude. We can... Keep on going up like this the entire time, or you can just give up. You're wasting time. I don't even think I can get away from him. Like, if I tried to outspeed him. Put it like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is turning out to be an amazing video. Right now. Wait! He might be stalling! Is he stalling? He might be stalling! Oh yeah. Here we go. My attack run. 
Fuck you! Am I actually gonna keep turning? Why does he want me so bad? You know what? Fuck this guy. I'm gone. I'm gone. Whatever. He's been lame. I think I should be able to outspeed him, actually. We'll let it be, dude. We'll let it be. I've only got two kills as a result, though. I'd much prefer having a plane like a Mark Collins with a 12.7s on it, or a G50 even. Those are both 1.3 planes. And I'd much rather have those because of the 12.7s. They do a lot more damage. Finally, this guy. Has he given up? Now I'm gonna go in. I have to teach this guy a lesson, dude. Something has just been really frustrating about this guy. Screw you! He's not dead. Well, that's the amazing firepower. This is actually, like, not a bad example. I mean, you know, I'm wasting a lot of time trying to kill this one guy, but this is not a bad example of just how frustrating this plane can be against certain other planes and just trying to kill them as well. This guy's clearly not a noob, though. He knows how to dogfight. He's trying to avoid... He generally knows what he's doing. And so the game is over! Good job, asshole! You wasted everyone's time! You wasted my time. You wasted the time of the viewers. Good job. Good job. Well done. Slow clap, everybody. Slow clap to that guy. Dickhead of the day. Alright, let's go on to the next match. Another really weird thing about the latest updates is the fact that no one messages me anymore. And I think it's because they added in this one feature or something where the only people that you can message are people who are... It's like you have to be their friend and they have to be your friend. So you both have to be friended to each other. And then you can message each other. So I have a feeling a lot of people, they can't message me because obviously I haven't added them. Which I guess is kind of nice and kind of crappy as well. Because now it just feels like I'm lonely all of a sudden. Because I used to get messages all the time. And all of a sudden it's like, nobody likes me? Sort of thing. You get me? Anyway. Alright. What kind of a match have we got here? I would laugh if that guy was in this match again. I don't even remember what his name was. He was using an I-15 anyway. Anyway. Okay. Lots of biplanes to contend with. But another nice feature about this plane is the fact that although its guns are kind of lackluster and engine power is, well, kind of weak, weak ass, uh, it actually has pretty good structural integrity. It can survive a lot of harassment. I've had even instances where four people have been on me and I've come out alive sort of thing. So, I guess in that one respect, it's nice, but wow, this guy is lagging. Holy balls, dude, what do you play on? Or where are you playing from? The moon? The moon's ping time ain't amazing, man. I'm pretty sure this, there's no moon servers in War Thunder. And he's gonna crash. That is some amazing skill right there. Amazing skill. So, uh, I guess... Another nice feature about the plane is that you get to be in low tier matches and then people don't really know how to fly, so all you have to do is shoot them and they might crash. Pretty good. Pretty good, I think. But since this plane has a hard time shooting down planes, I think what actually makes it really uh, good for is those battle wagers where you need to get the most kill assists. Uh, definitely, this would be uh, a great plane to use for that. Uh, along with maybe like Swordfish, or any other plane for that matter that just has a difficult time at destroying planes you know really bad stopping power those would be really good to finish that one wager to get the most kill assists most definitely which in itself I guess is a whole other discussion but which in itself is kinda of silly like why would they make up a wager where you need to get the most kill assists because you're intentionally going to try to get the most kill assists. <laughs> the logic is overwhelming. I want to go out into this match not to make the most kills, but to be halfway there. I want to half ass this match so I get the most kill assists. Very legit. Very legit. Indeed. I suppose you could really do it with any other plane though. Any plane that. Even if it has really good stopping power like Farquaad's or something, you just have to. Uh, tickle planes to shoot them slightly and then not finish them off and then you'll get the kill assist, right? But with the BF-19 B1 late, you are guaranteed. Oh shit, an I-15. Bad memories. Bad memories. 
But this guy's trying to kill ground units, so it's fine. Go, Omnipurpose Belts! Wow. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Let the kill assist come on in. Let's rake him in. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try climbing. I don't think the... Because the entry power is kind of a little bit lackluster. This isn't climb absolutely amazing. It's not bad. But I'm using WEP. Let's shut that off. And then start slowing down a lot more massively. But then again, low tiers aren't all about climbing massive altitudes. They're not all about amazing engine powers. The fights tend to be a lot lower altitude. Like just above the ground here. Die! You know your ammo belts suck when you have trouble taking down a P-26. And this one? Come on, man. Come on, man. No! What the sh- What? A Kai-10 just blew off my wing instantly. Wow. I don't know. I was saying that this plane has good structural integrity, but I just did not think that that would happen. Right, so let's take a look at this. The Kai-10 that shot me down, I believe has like really low caliber guns. Which one was it? The Kai- Yeah. 7.7s. Wow. <laughs> he instantly blew off my wing. That must have been like right in that one nut bolt that they put in the plane that holds it all together, you know? That one bolt that just- the critical one. The one that they didn't want anyone to know about. Yeah, he, he hit me right there. Oh well, so that was the BF-109 B1 late. Um, a very, hmm, kind of lackluster plane, but it's the first one that introduces the BF-109 tree in the game, and so it just gets better and better from there on in. But otherwise, that is what it is. Definitely not the top of the list of the worst plane in the game, but it's somewhere in there. Somewhere in there indeed. All right, guys, so that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any requests, songs, or planes, or vehicles, or whatever for the next video, then feel free to leave that in the comment box below. But until the next video, this is Krebs, and I'll see you dudes later. Here we go, here we go.